Hey guys, welcome to Integration Week 4 Review. Uh, in this session, we're going to be looking at questions on definite integrals and just some area under curves questions. So, the three questions we're going to be looking at today uh, in this session are the following three questions. So, as usual, guys, just pause, have a go at these questions, and then I'll go through answers one question at a time. All right, so let's get started. First question is <clears throat> this. So we've basically got this curve, y equals 5x minus 3 over x plus 3, and we're trying to find the shaded region. So obviously, we are trying to work out the area between 5 and 2 for 5x minus 3 over x plus 3 dx. Now, if you guys remember from last week, <clears throat> With integration of rational functions, we actually need to do, needed to write this in a in a quotient and remainder format. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use long division on the side here. So I've got x plus three and five x minus three. So five times x plus three is five x plus fifteen. So take away each other, negative three, negative fifteen is negative eighteen. And so that means I could actually write five x minus 3 divided by x plus 3, I could write it as 5 minus 18 over x plus 3. So that's what I'm going to do here with the integral. So between 5 and 2, I'm going to write that as 5 minus 18 over x plus 3 dx. Now I integrate it. So when I integrate 5, I get 5x. And when I integrate 18 over x plus 3, I get 18 ln of x plus 3 and of course my limits are that it's between 5 and 2 so the next part is substituting the values so I've got 5 multiplied by 5 minus 18 ln of 5 plus 3 minus make sure you always put a bracket around it so 2 times sorry 5 times 2 minus 18 ln of 2 plus 3. Okay, so guys, you can actually put this in the calculator and get the answer as 6.54. But if you were to um, learn how to do this just a little bit in the long run, so 5 and 5 is 25. So you get 25 minus 18 ln of 8, negative 10, and the negative and negative multiplied by each other is positive. So plus 18 ln of of 5. Uh, this could be written as 15 minus 18 ln of 8 plus 18 ln of 5. And next step is we can write this as 15. Um, what we've we got negative 18 as a common factor. Actually, And we can write that as ln of 8 minus ln of 5. Okay, and when you simplify this, you should get an answer of 6.54. Let me just check that. Yep, and that is what our final answer is. Cool. That's how you do this question, guys. Let's go to the next question. All right, guys, question two. Um, we've got a graph of sine of x over 2. And we're trying to find the value of k so that the area a equals to b. Now, there's two ways you can actually do this. The first method you could actually do it is you could actually find the area of a plus b. So that would be between pi and 0 of sine x over 2 dx. So you can find the area underneath the curve for that, halve it, and then put it between k and 0 to work out area of a. That's one way of doing it. Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put, um, for example, I'm going to put the area of, so obviously area A is there, and then area B is here. So we're trying to find a value of K so that A equals to B. Okay, so I'm going to write down this equation first. A is equal to B. Now, if I want to find the area of A, that's actually between K and 0, and that's of sine of x over 2 dx. 
right? And now that's equal to, for area of B, that's actually between pi and k of sine x over 2 dx, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate sine x over 2. When I integrate sine x over 2, I end up with um, negative cos x over 2. And remember that it's actually divided by the differentiation of whatever's inside the bracket, which in this case is half. And so this is between k and 0. And that's equal to pretty much the same thing. We have negative cos x over 2 over half, and that's between pi and k. Okay, so now the, the part is basically just substituting it, guys, and actually rearranging and see what you end up with. So here, I know that this is going to, well, half, when you divide by half, I can write that as multiplying by 2. So I'm going to write this as minus 2 cos, uh, I'm going to get k over 2, that's the first one, minus negative 2 cos, instead of k over 2, I'm going to get 0 over 2, and that's all equal to negative 2 cos pi over 2 minus negative 2 cos k over 2. Now, cos of 0 is 1, and cos of pi over 2 is 0. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have negative 2 cos k over 2. The negative and negative is a plus. Cos of 0 is 1, because 0 divided by 0 is 0. Cos of 0 is 1, so I'm going to get plus 2 equals negative 2 cos pi over 2. Now, cos pi over 2 is equal to 0, so that's 0, plus 2 cos k over 2. So rearranging this, I'm going to get 2 equals 2 cos k over 2 plus, because it's minus here, it's going to be plus on this when you rearrange, it's going to be 2 cos k over 2. And what you have is 2 equals to 4 cos k over 2, half equals cos of k over 2. And guys, this is where those special triangles come in handy. So if you have a look at your formula sheet, you will know that cos of, an ang uh, cos of pi over 3 is actually equal to a half. So then what I can actually say in this case is that half is equal to cos of pi over 3, which equals to cos of k over 2. Therefore, k over 2 equals pi over 3, and k is equal to 2 pi over 3. And basically, guys, that is the answer for this question. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. Okay, so we've got question 3 here, where we've got 18x root x dx, and we've got to find the integral between 9 and 4. Now, I know when you guys see root x, sometimes you jump straight into um, substitution rule. It, just be aware of the question that you actually have in front of you. Now, in this question, I want to show you guys a couple of things. First thing we can do is we can actually write this as 18 divided by x multiplied by x to the power of half dx. So we can actually rewrite this as between 9 and 4, 18 divided by x to the power of 3 over 2 dx, which means we can still rearrange this, bring the x to the numerator to make it x to the power of negative 3 over 2 dx. And now we can actually integrate this. And when we integrate this, we have 18x to the power of negative 3 over 2 plus 1 divided by negative 3 over 2 plus 1 and with the limits of 9 and 4. So then what we do have is 18x to the power of negative half divided by negative half. Um, and of course that is still between 9 and 4. When you divide by negative um, half, it's actually the same thing as saying multiplying by negative 2. 
So we have negative 2 multiplied by 18x to the power of negative half. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that x to the power of half in the denominator. And that's still between 9 and 4. What I have is negative 36 divided by root x between 9 and 4. So this could be now written as negative 36 divided by square root of 9 minus negative 36 divided by square root of 4. So what we have is negative 36 divided by 3 minus, well, minus minus plus 36 divided by 2. Negative 36 divided by 3 is negative 12, and 36 divided by 2 is 18. So final answer is 6. And that's how you do this question, folks. So guys, as usual, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Uh, but apart from that, thank you for watching. And that's it for this session.